What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Prince Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scouting report on David Ajabo. If you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe button, check out all the other videos on the channel, as well as the 2022 NFL Draft prospect breakdowns scouting report playlist. Um, comment down below any teams you want to see for my seven round mock drafts. I'm going to be starting up soon. So, without further ado, let's get started. He's a 6'5, 250 pound junior edge rusher from Michigan. Stats for him in one season, which was this year, he's had 36 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, 11 sacks, 3 pass deflections, and 5 forced fumbles. Awards for him, he made first team All Big Ten and second team All American. He was first in the Big Ten in forced fumbles and second in the Big Ten in sacks. Strength and weaknesses for him Ojabo has the physical traits to be a first round pick after one season. He was a former track star that also is very explosive. He's listed at 6'5", 250 pounds with very long arms. To top it off, he has loud praise for his character. Going back to his explosiveness, he's one of the fastest players off the ball in this draft. He shows great pursuit and attacking mentality towards chasing the quarterback down. A unique part of his game is his strip sack ability. He has 11 sacks on the year and 5 of them have resulted in a fumble, which just makes a great impact and a pretty much a great playmaking ability for him. Cons for him, play strength is a struggle for him. He won't be able to play in a 4-3 because of it. He's not an every down type of player either because of his play strength and he has struggles as a run defender. He also is very inexperienced with one only one full college year as a starter and it shows in his pass rush plans. Pro comparison, gonna have to go with Carlos Dunlap. Both raw talent athletes coming into the draft. Dunlap was 295 to Ojabo's 250, and Ojabo is a linebacker defense end, while Dunlap came in as a defensive tackle defense end. But both are lengthy, fast, you know, edge rushers, and I think they are very comparable. Ojabo could get his weight up, um, but overall, they play very similar games. Team fits, I'm going to have to go with the Broncos. They're a playoff caliber team and don't need to look for a rookie quarterback with their first round pick. I think personally they should go with try to go get Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers or even someone even lower than them. But I think a veteran quarterback is much needed for this team because, you know, they have the talent defensively and they have the weapons offensively. So I think that the Broncos just need a quarterback. And that's why I think when they come up with the, I believe, the 11th, 12th pick right here, I think that the pick they need to be going with is depth and a guy like Ojabo could like you could say like replace Von Miller or I guess bring more help uh to the pass rush that's already playing pretty good uh with Bradley Chubb and them um but I think he definitely brings depth and it definitely brings a playmaking ability that this team uh is searching for draft projection I'm gonna have to go with top 15 pick I see him as a top five edge rusher in the class but um, I think that he'll be drafted above a lot of them just because teams love how raw of talent that he has. You know, he has the speed, the size, the playmaking ability. Teams love that. Even though he won't be an every down type of guy, he still can make a play and has that mentality to chase down the quarterback. Also, he's a pretty young player, only one, you know, full season as a starter. So he still has time to develop and has a very high ceiling than I think I, I pretty much think he has the highest ceiling out of anybody in this entire class. So that's basically our wrap video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below the next video you might want to see. Thank you guys for watching and peace.